I think after uh, reviewing these assignments, uh, my understanding of music has grown quite a bit. Um, I feel like um, there's a lot of things that just kind of like pointed out like that you don't really notice like from a day-to-day -day basis like um, even just like the one where it was like the Pirates of the Caribbean and there was um, a bunch of different music attached to it things like that like how just how much it changed the scene um, regarding like what, what kind of music was playing in the background um, musical terms um, like when the music speeds up slows down um, stays fast stays slow gets louder gets quieter like things like those um i think the other thing i learned mostly is that um the, mu the music is like everyone everyone involved is like a family it seems like um it seems like everyone is is always uh there to help each other and uh it's not not always a competition in the music world that it, it seems like uh, a lot of people are um are there for each other and um even like the people that are at the very top of the ranks um they seem to always want to help help people below them even though um there's risk of them taking their job obviously but um i just found that uh very interesting and uh, i thought this class was really good for that uh so a little backstory for um uh, behind this description um so what i'm about to share is the life of Johann Sebastian Bach, who is a world-class figure in the classical music community. Um, in this film, we are brought in a profound exploration into the indelible mark left by Johann Sebastian Bach, a luminary universal acclaimed as the bedrock of Western music. Um, he, with an extraordinary and prolific career, Bach's musical opus extends, ac extends across an impressive array of over a thousand compositions, cementing his position as an enduring pillar in the realm of classical music. Originating from the lineage deeply rooted in the musical traditions of central Germany, Bach not only inherited but magnificently enriched the legacy passed down through generations, etching his name prominently in the annals of musical history. His contributions and innovations, one second. his contributions and innovations continue to reverberate through time, influencing subsequent generations of musicians and enthusiasts alike underscoring the profound and foundational stature he holds in the world class of classical music or classical composition. Next, we are taken into the formative years of Johann Sebastian Bach, a journey that commenced with his baptism at St. George's Church in, in Eisenach, shortly after his arrival in 1685. Nestled in a town brimming with historical renaissance, or resonance, sorry, uh, young Bach's experiences were steeped in the rich tapestry of cultural significance. His early exposure to music, notably the profound works of Martin Luther, left an indelible imprint on his budding music, musical inclinations setting the stage for his future artistic endeavors. Amid the challenges posed by formal education, a pivotal chapter unfolded as Bach found solace and purpose within the hallowed halls of the St. George's Church Choir. It was within this harmonious enclave that the seeds of his musical prowess began to germinate signaling the inception of a journey destined for greatness. However, casting a shadow over his formative years, the untimely loss of both parents and two siblings before the tender age of 10 added a layer of profound <clears throat> melancholy uh, to Batch's early narrative, shaping the trajectory of his life and artistry 
with, an, with a unique blend of resilience and introspection. Next, we are on an in-depth exploration of Johann Sebastian Bach's uh, Arnott's period, a significant phase where he secured his inaugural position as an organist. This period unfolds with a, a notable altercation showcasing not only Bach's musical prowess, but also his propensity in controversy or for controversy. As we delve into this, into this segment, uh, the intricate details of Bach's early career come to life, providing a nuanced understanding of his artistic journey. Lastly, the narrative unfolds into the Weimar period, a pivotal chapter commencing at the age of 23. Bach's role as a court organist and concert master during this time afforded him unprecedented access to a kaleidoscope of European music styles contributing to the evolution of his compositional versatility. Uh, the complexities of Bach's personal life also emerge as he meets and marries his second wife, Anna, while his intricate relationship with the Lutheran church is explored, shedding light on a nuanced connection despite infrequent attendance. The exploration then navigates to the the Cothan period, revealing a more intimate dimension of Bach's life. This phase introduces us to his relationship with Anna and his responsibilities as a court musician, providing a comprehensive portrait of the man behind the music. The narrative takes a significant turn as we delve into the Leipzig period, marked by Bach's assumption of the esteemed position of Tomaskentar in 1723. The intricacies of this role involving commitments to the St. Thomas School and Church are dissected to offer a profound understanding of Bach's dedicated service for almost three decades. The historical significance of St. Thomas Church as musical hub adds depth to his segment highlighting the energy between Bach and his environment. Uh, shifting focus to the cantatas and period instruments, a closer look is taken at Bach's in innovative approach to making, his, to making them accessible to the congregation. This section dives into the prolific output emphasizing the survival of approximately two, 200 cantatas out of 1,000 works he composed, providing insights into breadth of his creative legacy. A brief interlude ex explores Bach's connection with Martin Luther, drawing attention to their shared roots and the enduring impact of Luther's reformation on Bach's life and work. The narrative then pivots to the 19th century Bach revival, fueled by a burgeoning interest in early music. The efforts of influential figures like Robert and Clara Schumann and Felix Mendelssohn in introducing Bach's music to a broader audience are underscored, illuminating an enduring legacy of Bach's compositions. In the concluding segment, it dives into the profound aspects of Johann Sebastian Bach's faith, his enduring influences, and the ultimate chapter of his life, his burial at St. John's Cemetery. The exploration adds a layer of depth to the understanding of the man behind the music, revealing the intricate interplay between Bach's personal beliefs and the cultural uh, stuff of his time. Uh, Bach's faith, an integral component of his life, becomes a focal point in his exploration. We unravel the spiritual dimensions that influenced his compositions and artistic choices, contemplating the symbiotic relationship between his religious convictions and musical expressions. 
The exploration of Bach's faith offers a glimpse into the profound wellspring that fueled his creative genius. As we navigate through the labyrinth of Bach's influences, we uncover the diverse tapestry of inspirations woven into his musical legacy. From the profound impact of historical figures to the cultural and artistic currents of his era, Bach's compositions bear the imprints of influences. Uh, this section illuminates the intricate network of factors that shaped Bach's artistic vision, offering a comprehensive portrait of the multifaceted maestro. Uh, the narrative then culminates uh, with Bach's final resting place at St. John's Cemetery, or yeah, at St. John's Cemetery, marking the end of his earthly journey. This moment prompts reflection uh, on the fame that surrounds Bach, emphasizing an enduring impact of his musical contributions. The desire to reloc relocate his, main re his remains back into the church, a symbolic act with profound implications, underscores the ongoing reverence of Bach's legacy. In essence, this exploration serves as a fitting conclusion to the multifaceted journey of John Johann Sebastian Bach, it not only, not only the musical dimensions of his life, but also the spiritual and cultural threads that are intricately woven uh, because of his existence. The desire to bring Bach's remains back into the church uh, becomes a, a symbolic gesture, symbolizing the perpetual veneration of a, for the musical maestro whose influence transcends time.